What's up guys, Mark here. Uh, the new DD Audio M3 has arrived. We were uh, one of the first ones to get it uh, and we're gonna open it up here and check it out. I have not looked at it yet. So we're about to open it up and find out. They have, this amplifier it now has dual inputs, which means two powers and two grounds. It's gonna produce a little bit more power than the other one does. Uh, it is now rated at 4,000 watts. You already know that DD underrates their equipment. It's gonna do uh, more than what they state. Let's go ahead and open it up here. I will tell you, it is heavier. It is heavier, that is for sure. Let me put this down real quick. That way I can open it up for you guys. If I can get the camera to act right, we'll be okay. All right. It is definitely heavier, for sure. Open this bad boy. Alright. Alright, so the amplifiers that DD sends comes with a quality control certificate. They actually pull these out, they play them on a test bench before they come to us. They do that to ensure that nobody ever gets an amplifier that has a uh, dead on arrival, which means not working brand new out the box. So um, let's look at this. It's got frequency response, protection, quiet turn off and turn on, which means it's not like stupid loud. Uh, exterior finish, which means there's no scratches or any type of damage to the amplifier. Um, if we were to open this up, it will tell us the power that it did. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. At least that's how they used to do it. Maybe they changed it. Yeah, it looks like they might have changed that part. <clears throat> but have your instruction manual right there. Now let's check out the amp. All right, so just like I stated, you have two powers and two grounds. And of course the re remote wire there, it takes dual one-aught one -aught inputs. The other end of it, you're gonna have some, looks like eight gauge, has Tiffany style um, RCA connector ends. You have your gain subsonic and low pass. They finally did what I've been waiting for years. Pull off the bass boost. They pulled off the bass boost. I personally, there's no real need for bass boost. Not in what we do here at least. Some SQ builds, bass boost can come in handy when you know how to use it. The problem is these amplifiers get in people's hands that don't know how to use it. 95% uh, of the time amplifier comes in to us from another place, not, not necessarily another place, but from a person. Low pass is incorrectly set. Subsonic is wrong. A lot, a lot of times they get it backwards. They'll turn the subsonic all the way up and the low pass down a lot. <clears throat> That's counterproductive. You're not letting in the frequencies that you need and you're telling it not to play the frequencies that you do need. Setting the amplifier is the main part of the whole thing that you're doing. It's stupid important. You have your remote bass control. One new thing that DD has added and us, uh, a place that does a lot of SPL builds, uh, a, a lot of bigger SPL oriented stuff, they added what's called the ZVL input. This is basically what people know as a, a cock box, uh, where you can run multiple RCAs into um, a, a product that splits it. The problem is 
what's been on the market, the more you add, the preamp is diminished over all the amplifiers. The ZVL input uh, control box um, doesn't do that. So if you're getting four volts pre out from the radio <clears throat> and you have four, four amps hooked up through this, like um, it doesn't lower the preamp. That's a huge deal, huge deal. So then we have the e input, this is ZBL input. There is no output on this amplifier. Um, in my opinion, there shouldn't be an output on a large amplifier. Also, one really cool thing that they added, I don't have one here to display. However, if you notice, there's a little screw right here, right? And go all the way over here, there's a screw right there. They added an optional, and it's not that, it, it's not that expensive, an optional piece of Lexan plexiglass that has DD logo engraved in it also has a red uh, light in it and you can stick it on top of the amplifier and switch your logo around however you want it a lot of builds that we do we're having to flip the amp over and uh, it, if it's a manufacturer that doesn't give us a logo that I can flip around it just is what it is uh, the amplifier has to be flipped around uh, in that specific uh, build that we're doing so the logo gets put upside down uh, people like us with OCD and care a lot about that it's really frustrating so now we don't have to worry about that if that's going to be the case or if we just want to add it we'll grab that piece of Lexan and screw it in I right, guess um, so the all the new the m3 and the m5 does have what's called a vanity plate which is what that piece of uh, plexiglass is um and we're going to be utilizing that often here uh, if you guys have any questions on the digital designs lineup we um have have a a, a broad knowledge of their product and are here to help if you have any questions, you can reach us at the store at 682-312-8817 or reach out to us via email at wiredcustoms at gmail.com. And please visit our website at wiredcustoms.com or wiredcustomsmotorsports.com. Thank you for watching.